There will also be a number of people who met the Queen through their community work, uh, including Cathy Cowell, the chair of Manchester University NHS Foundation Trust and Deputy Lieutenant of Cheshire. She joins me now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Dear. How and when did you find out? Uh, last Saturday by email. Through email? Yeah, what did it yeah. say? It just said um, the invitation came and, and I emailed back and said I'd be honoured and privileged to be in, the, in Westminster Abbey. And then presumably you got on the phone to share the news. Um, actually, I didn't because I needed to make sure it was absolutely all organised. I, mean, I like things to be dotted, so yes, so then I did share the news. And of course, it's a huge honour for the to represent the NHS in, of Manchester in Westminster Abbey. And the Queen was such a huge supporter, wasn't she, of the NHS? And I don't think that was ever demonstrated more this year when she gave us the George Cross. Absolutely. So it'll be a huge honour to be In there. the wake of COVID. Yeah. Tell me about your experiences of the Queen and the NHS. So, so the Queen visited Royal Manchester Children's Hospital in 2017 in the wake of the Manchester Arena attack. And, and it was an amazing visit because she brought with her that day a real sense of comfort and it was a real morale boost for the, uh, the patients, their families, staff and our volunteers. And it was a really terrible time, so she really lifted the morale of everybody that day. I would imagine as well, three days after something so traumatic happening, mm -hmm. the state that the children are in, the state that the staff are in, under a lot of pressure, very difficult, that's not an easy environment to walk into is it for her no and she was truly amazing on the morning of her visit i did a quick whip around the wards to say yeah the queen is coming and we had one young lady one young patient and since she'd been admitted she was really difficult to engage you know she was really withdrawn so i went into her room and said you yeah, know the, the queen is coming can i bring her in to see you and um, we'd had no reaction from this young lady at all and suddenly you know her eyes lit up and she said the queen so i said yeah can i bring her in and she said yes yeah. so in the blink of an eye she turned to her relative that was with her and said quick pass me my makeup bag i need a clean lady i need to do my hair and this is a young girl who hadn't sat up since she'd been admitted so that was the effect the queen had on that young lady and and i then went across the corridor to the next ward and by then the bush telegraph had beaten me to it hadn't me the ward was buzzing they knew the queen was coming i was talking to one of the young girls and her mum was next to her and her mum had been injured in the the attack as well and then um, she said to me but I've had the, the Queen's coming at 12 o'clock and I said, yeah, I think, that, I think that's the timing. She said, but I'm going to theatre. If you tell them not to take me, they'll let me stay. <laughs> they went, mm, can't. Theatre takes priority. <laughs> mm, oh, you definitely need to have your, your wounds dressed, so yeah. I'm sorry if they come for you, you need to go. So um, she accepted that, but so when the Queen ran, we were on the ward and, and we got to this point, and as I drew the curtains back, of course her bed was empty and she'd gone to theatre, but her mum was there. So so I turned to the Queen and said, Mum, yeah, she'll be so disappointed to have missed you. She so wanted to meet you. Uh, but this is her mum who was injured and the Queen went on to talk to her mum. And I was on the ward a few days later and this little, this young girl, she was beside herself with joy. She'd had a personal letter from the Queen saying how disappointed she was not to meet her. And that was the difference the Queen made, the impact she had. It just shows the extent to which she was listening as well. Yes. She wasn't just going through the motions. Absolutely. And that was really apparent when she met our staff. So she didn't not only meet the staff from the hospital, but all those emergency services as attended on the night. And, and what standing next to what was so apparent was she just asked a question and she listened so intently. And actually, it was almost a cathartic process for those people who talked to her that day. She was so very special that day. And you're right, it was so difficult to walk into. And we were told to keep it low key. By the time How you meant to do <laughs> yeah. that, though. Well, if you look at the footage from her leaving the hospital afterwards, the crowds were everywhere and she got around and cheer and that. But it was the difference she made. How much of a difference does it make in a situation like that when presumably your staff have been working round the clock, your patients have been through a nasty trauma? Uh, it's hard to remember back, but we'd never come across anything like this before mm. in Manchester. And we suddenly realised the impact of having to take our patients 
to theatre several times, you know, back and back to theatre. And the staff were really tired and it just lifted them and actually gave them the impetus. And she brought with her that strength and comfort and that, that she gave us the belief that you can carry on and do this. Which is what she did for decades, Absolutely. wasn't it? Um, finally, mm -hmm. you wouldn't share the news until you'd prepared all the logistics. Have you got your outfit sorted? Have you got the train booked? Everything. The hat, the gloves, <laughs> everything. Quick phone call to you know, a, a parlour. You know, is it hats? Yes, it's hats. So got the hats, train booked, hotel booked and, and everything ready to go. And no plus ones allowed, are they? No, so... but I have an absolutely fabulous husband who... Hold the coat outside and wait for oh, me. Oh, bless him. <laughs> yeah. And it will be a sombre occasion, but it as will. you were saying earlier, it will be a cause to celebrate what was a life well lived. Oh, a huge moment to reflect mm. on that white line, on that life well lived, but also to celebrate the difference the Queen made. Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing your memories. Amazing. Thanks, Cathy. Thank you, Neil.